And we will watch the Aaron Piggy Leon match. And let's go ahead do predictions on who we think will win. Okay, who will win? We got Leon, and then we got Airy Piggy, and then one minute prediction. All right, here we go. Said I missed another one. I'm sick. It happens. It happens. Gotta gotta pay attention to the Coliseum. Otherwise, no shot you're getting in. Said, can I still join? No, the tournament's already filled up. The tournaments fill up before the stream starts most of the time. Uh, just because I let Coliseum know about it first. And then, there we go. I'll put it. Boop, Colo. Said, tier mirror, I'm out. The mirror, I'm out. Huh? You guys don't like watching tier mirrors? Tier mirrors aren't bad. Tier mirrors are definitely not bad. There's like certain things you can do to have advantages in the tier mirror. There's also builds that, like, I'm not, I'm not even going to get into it. We'll, we'll see if they pop up. We'll see if they pop up. Um, but, okay. Has Nessie on field. Has double Mally engraved. Does have Shuffler, though. Has Destrudo. Um, Destrudo engraver. It's pretty good. That means Baron's going to come out eventually. And then the opponent builds Solix, so they got the search. I didn't see exactly what they searched, but, I mean, it's probably, like, tier cash. Uh, to be able to play at some point on this turn, or at least attempt to. But normal Rhino, Rhino effects fine, they said. So they get to go ahead, dump, and then use their card to go ahead and fusion. Plenty of different things that they could do here. Try to set up a Hummed Shark. Uh, they could put back Havnus plus Mally, summon out Mud Dragon. They could be also summoning Dangerous here. And then Mally summon Mally, Dangerous discard. Go dump, Denier, that's a free body. Um, okay, yeah, we're going to go for Dangerous. And then this is also summon number three, so we get to play around Nib by going for Baron. And then also, you probably don't even go for Bahamut Shark, to be honest, because we activated Kelbeck and saw that it's tier. So we probably just go for Dweller as long as we, you know, play it in our extra deck. Which, we might side deck it or something. Said, when, when will the next tourney happen? Uh, I have no idea. The tournaments are, like, completely random times. Uh, I might, I might in the future, uh, maybe, like, the next tourney or something, I'll try to post the tourney, like, a couple hours before, instead of just 30 minutes before, so that way... Everybody can see the tournament, know that it's coming in a couple hours. And then maybe instead of top 16, I'll try to do like top 32. Um, maybe top 64. I know for a fact I can judge like a big tournament by myself. Like the world's tourney? Oh, I was him. I was him that weekend. I had to stream. I didn't stream, but I had to host the tournament. I woke up at like 8 a.m. Didn't get to stop until midnight. And then, so it's like 16 hours. And then, I was pretty much just doing stuff the entire time. I was the only judge. I, well, I wasn't the only judge. There was a judge that helped me in the Coliseum. But, 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 I could have done it myself, to be fair. To be fair. Very easily. Um, and then, yeah, there wasn't anyone else really helping with, like, the brackets or anything. Um, they said, of course, attorney when I have locals today. Hey, 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 it is what it is. It is what it is. But, good look at your locals, though. Um, the god himself. What's up? What's up? I think 30 minutes is good. I always get the notification. Yeah, I think it's fine, though. But, like, I kind of want to host, like, a bigger tournament. Because I've, I've capped it at top 16, so that way we get, like, a decent tournament going. You know, it's going to last a couple hours. Um... We get good gameplay. I can make sure there's good decks in the tournament. But if I made it like a top 32 tournament or top 64, you know, it might be harder to get only good decks in that tournament. So I'd have to give it more time. But wow, set trivia karma, Baron pop it. I mean, come on now. Come on now. It's looking pretty good for them. Uh, if they do play Dweller, the game will be be over instantly yes i believe that yep 100 percent um as long as they don't mess up and like play into something um 
like, you know, like, mess up, allow the opponent to, like, leave tier cash on the field and play in the Super Bowl League. But, said, hi, I watch you from El Salvador. I love your content. Thanks uh, to you. I top three regionals in a row. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Nice job. What, uh, was the meta looking like down in, uh, El Salvador? Uh, cause I saw that McAnko won the last YCS. And I'm just curious if that has maybe, like... Well, I guess that was, like, last weekend, so when it impacts stuff, yeah. All right, I'll ask you that question again in, like, a month. Because I want to see if there's, like, a lot of Mikanko and stuff that ends up being played at regionals. So, I just wonder if that ends up happening. Because, like, I have to learn that deck. Like, I have to, like, truly learn how to beat that deck. Like, truly, truly learn and test against it. I just want to see how popular it's going to be. Honestly, I hope it gets really popular once I learn how to play against it. But right now, I hope it's not popular because I don't know how to play against it very well. Okay, Tear Cash plus Rhino linked off into SP or Cross Sheep. Okay, it makes Cross Sheep. That's fair. Uh, sure, detach, go dumb. They may even just leave Cross Sheep on the field for their turn. If we're just maybe, you know, like making Mud Dragon and then summoning back out Rhino for the two level fours. Um, bro, is the $50 your bread? Yep. Yep, it is indeed my bread. But it's fine. It's fine. You know, I make a little bit of bread from the stream. Make a little bit of bread from the, the YouTube clips and stuff from posting this. And also, I like watching good gameplay. So, I, I would be willing to spend more bread on it. But I think $50 is, like, a, a good spot for, like, a free entry tournament that takes, like, two and a half hours, roughly. I think that's a... I think it's very good. Also, they fumbled that bad. Wait. Okay, okay. I'll just... I'll just leave it at that. I thought they did cross sheep chain link 1, planet chain link 2, which is what it looked like. Uh, I'll, I'll actually bring it up. You can't summon back Mothman off cross sheep. There we go. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Just because, like, it really does change a lot. Yeah. Yep. Just because, uh... I'll explain why now, uh, cause they went cross sheep chain link one, planet chain link two, and they went planet pop Kaleido heart, and then tried to cross sheep summon back out from the graveyard, but they couldn't because nothing is pointing underneath of it. Uh, people always think that cross sheep says like, oh, if you summon a fusion underneath of it, then you get the effect, which I mean here, it won't matter anyways but okay okay um well actually it will matter because they still activate cross sheep but okay yep it just does whatever is underneath of it like let's say we had baron right here and then we summon a fusion cross sheep points to a synchro so it works with that it checks on resolution not right away but wrong chain order yep they changed it wrong go on the sp and then doesn't use the SP effect on summon to try to banish maybe Solik or Diviner from their graveyard. I mean, banishing Solik from their graveyard seems pretty good, right? Oh, and they had Nib. But they got to make Baron as the fifth summon, which is really rare to do. It's, it's pretty rare to make Baron as the fifth summon, but they were able to do it this time. Uh, hey DB, no longer accepting replays, question mark? No, I'm accepting replays. I accept replays on my Discord. But only my Discord. Anywhere else, it, they just get lost. Even if I, like, take them from you, I'll just forget about them. Uh, don't really know about Mikanko. Just Amazon Swordsman in 2023. Yeah, but, like, it's cool. It's cool. Uh... Okay, so man, are you going to Richmond? Nope, 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 not going to Richmond. I uh, decided to skip this YCS, but I'm not gonna skip another North American YCS again. Well, 
I should say North America is more like United States of America. Like if it, if, it, if it's like uh, Vancouver again, I'm fine with skipping Vancouver just because Vancouver has horrible flights. Like there's no shot I have to fly like 14 hours there, 16 hours back. It's like I can't do it. That's that's too bad. That's like really bad, and it's expensive. But if it's anything besides like Vancouver, I'll pretty much go. Anything that's in the in the U.S., like United States, I'll go to. And any of like the, the 50 states. But uh, tried PMing a couple of times. My tier mirror against rated number one, but no luck. I'll keep the grind up. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I've got it. But it's also, I mean, it's hard to post mirror matches a lot of the time. I can post mirror matches. But I can't post many mirror matches, and I have to be kind of, I have to kind of pick and choose mirror matches. Like, uh, Unchained mirror match, I would upload that, uh, you know, as long as the gameplay ended up being good. Uh, Rescue Ace, I would upload the mirror match, but I don't want, like, a tier mirror. I don't want a tier mirror. Uh, but they're gonna bring out Garua. And also, make sure that, uh... You know, you're in top 200, because if you're not in top 200, then it won't get uploaded. Just because, like, that's a lot, except as high-rated DB. Okay, help me out. Running, Unchained, what do you think I should prepare for? Uh, everything. There's a lot of decks. I mean, you have to prepare for Pearly, you have to prepare for Rescue Ace, you have to prepare for Tier Limit, you need to prepare for the Mirror Match, you gotta prepare for Minadium, Infernoble. Uh, you have to, like, actually prepare for Mikanko, like learn what they do and how to interact there's a lot of things a lot of things uh labyrinth uh prepare for tier worst matchup uh, i wouldn't say that i wouldn't say prepare for tier that hard because i do think tier is a a good choice for richmond but i don't know if too many people are actually gonna play it so they activate scream they're thinking here they do still have their Shuffler in Grave, right? They do still have the Shuffler in Graveyard. Okay. Huh, so they both have Shufflers. Okay. Also, I feel like we don't see anybody playing Zephyros in this deck right now. Definitely not normal. And then Grief, I mean, sure, sure, definitely worked out for them getting to add back the trap card okay they're gonna sp banish garua in response to scream which is like sure it's fine but i was gonna say if they summon anything anyways you could have just chain sp then to also banish garua it's not like scream itself is really threatening this okay they're gonna go medora in response to Shaylin to put back the opponent's shuffler for sure. Definitely getting rid of that card. And then... It's a... Uh, tier mirrors are too sacky. There's Dweller. Are you going to the YCS? J tomorrow? I don't even know what that is. But no, I'm, I'm not going to the YCS tomorrow. Uh, yo, is this the grinder from DB Grinder from Dueling Book? It is. It is. The one with the Capybara profile picture. Well, I don't have the Capybara profile picture now because my, my dono code ran out. But I'm getting it again. I'm getting it again. Also, shout out to Matto Moron for the follow. Spleen17 for the follow. iBengio9 for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So they're going to target Keldo, Solik, and Zephyros. Okay. And they're going to change Shuffler to put back some Diviners. And then they're tier cash uh chain link one escape of the unchained chain link two book of moon to escape destroy no right uh i'm like fairly certain it does but i guess let me come read it just to make sure trigger one unchain you control one cry on the field destroy both what it should. Is there a reason why this wouldn't? You can destroy both. Oh, it's because it needs to target one on chain you control. 
And then once it's set, it doesn't know it. No, no. It definitely, it definitely works. It definitely works. It destroys. It doesn't? Wait, hold on. Let, let me look this up. One sec. One sec. Escape of the Unchained versus Book of Moon. Oh, no, not Soul of Rage versus Book of Moon. That, that won't be the ruling I'm looking for. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This should be it. Um, wait. Okay, that should have been it, but it just wasn't. Click. Okay, click. Escape of the Unchained. That's crazy how it told me to click on this to find the ruling I'm looking for, and then it just doesn't tell me. But I could see why it won't, because it had the target and unchained. And it's not an unchained when it's set, but like it should, it should still pop, right? Like there's, it, that shouldn't matter here. It still is destroyed. Yeah, it's, okay. message by excuse me huh okay but okay going on to the next or just going back to the match that we were watching before um so they milled now they milled a lot do i think okay okay they got medora in their graveyard they're popping off they also milled Trivi Karma. That's huge for them. That's Field Spell. They have Mali plus Denier plus Destrudo. It's a bunch of like extra bodies that can also just like summon themselves out before we attempt to do our next play. Which means. Yeah, we can definitely force stuff out. You also gotta remember that SP can target stuff in Graveyard. So it can try to force a Shuffler. Said no chain links on the new chain. Okay, they said think then. Okay, because if this was their mill 5 off Kelbeck, which I think is what happened, then, yeah, because I think it was Kelbeck Scream. So, I mean, they'll get Havnus effect, they get Tear Cash effect, so they get to mill 2 more, and a separate chain link, which is huge. They get to resolve a fusion for, like, Dragos to Paleo, which doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, I so said, did you got two monitors? Yep, I got two monitors. I thought about getting a third one a while ago, but I really only need two. I think the third one would probably just be, like, too much. SP is cracked. SP is cracked. Had no business banishing from Graveyard, too. Yeah, there's a lot. Maybe, like, maybe SP should have also had like the first effect like maybe it should have also said like your monsters cannot attack directly this turn like period like start with that not like also your monsters cannot attack directly this turn it should have been like even before this is summoned so that way you can't main phase two summon banish because that's really good at breaking fields like gosh comes up so much link to very generic as well yeah this card is just crazy this card is just crazy um, I think they might have confused because if one of the targets is removed from the field, the targeted monster is banished by a mirror jade, then it doesn't resolve. Yeah, yep. Yep. Said, now nah, you need Playsa. Playsa of SP? Oh god, no. That is, that's rich people talk right there. Even two of those cards a lot. I'm, me personally, me personally, I don't own any of this card right now. And I know I'm going to have to buy one of it in like a week because I have a tournament coming up. So it's like... That's, that's, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. I have to own one of this card. 
And the deck list that we're playing actually plays two of this card. So I have to borrow another one. And if I can't, then I'm full committing with one and doing a budget version of the other one. And it'll probably be good enough. Um, another Link 2 gonna get banned. Yeah, this card will definitely get banned eventually. There's like no shot this card sticks around forever. Because it'll just be, it'll pretty much be played forever. Unless if there's a format where like, Flounderies is the best deck or something. Or a deck that just like instantly locks itself in the lights on the first play. You know, decks like that. So to be fair, breaking fields, uh, being easier in main phase 2 is good for the game, I think. Uh, sure. I think it's good for the game some. But do you think like... I don't, I don't think SP is a good way of doing that. Because that's not really... I guess it's not really clearing the board like okay because the way I'm trying to change it is changing it to where your monsters cannot attack directly this turn like period instead of like you know I mean you can attack directly and then go main phase 2 effect to banish because it's only for the rest of the turn um, I feel like they should have changed that so that way you can't like deal a bunch of damage poke 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 beat over everything and then banish something from their grave but I don't know maybe this card probably just shouldn't have came out at all. Like, even if it's... Even even with that change, it's still a broken card. Even if it can't target the graveyard, it's still a broken card. Like, it just never needed to have the effect to banish from either graveyard, and everyone would still be playing this card right now. My gosh, they mill Meta Noise too. I mean, yeah, you'll have that. You know, you play Grief, you play Meta Noise... You know, sometimes you just end up getting to add back to your cash, getting to add back a trap card, and you just get insane value off your mills. Like, they also just milled Zephyros, Murley. Yeah, this is not looking too good for Aaron Piggy, but it's definitely not over. Definitely not over. There's like 10 things that Konami could have done to make SP not super OP, but they decided to give it the least effective restriction. Ah, uh, gotcha. They want to change its board breaking capabilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's DP on steroids. It's a really good card. It's really good. It's not... I mean, once it's established, it's not as good as, like, DPE was. But DPE, you also have to play the bricks and stuff. So I think overall, SP is just better. Like, really, every deck can play this card. And there's, like, almost no reason not to... Gosh, Leon is really just winning this game. Shuffle back the scream. They get the dump. They get the search. They get the fuse. I guess... I guess even after doing all of this, though... Yeah, because... Well, they're about to go into Dragos to Paleo. Okay. Dragos to Paleo does help out. Because if their next play is Dweller, we can Dragos to Paleo the Dweller, so when we get Zeus, we resolve our graveyard effects, or we can do it vice versa and just drag us to Paleo the Zeus. They still lose five, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ask in chat. I can't coach. Yeah. They still lose five, right? Yes. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Because, like, technically you're allowed to coach in my tournaments because you're allowed to coach on DB in general, but I probably shouldn't be the one coaching. Uh, if Sprite get back one elf with SP Knight, it would be tier zero. Whew, I, don't, I don't think it'd be tier zero. I definitely don't think that, but it'd be infinitely better if Sprite had at least one elf. Uh, Vanquish Soul Treatment, can't activate both effects in the same chain, like you said, can't attack directly, period. Uh, three, make the second effect only chainable to monsters, so that we can't use it to dodge targeted spells traps. Four, alternatively, make the second effect only usable during your turn, so that way it's not an interruption. Yeah, there's infinite things. Infinite things. <laughs> it's actually crazy, you wrote a whole list of, like, things that could have changed on it. Or make it to where, like, it's only on the opponent's turn. And not on your turn, so that way you can't use it to, like, dodge a bunch of things. But love the bias, DBG judge. Or the unbiased. Yeah, 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 Can you give me one sec, door? 
Uh, Sprite still loses too much to spot removal going second. Yep, one elf would make tier even more better, don't forget that. Oh yeah, 100%. 100%. You get to bring out Diviner from the graveyard. Nil five more. Elf can't ever come back? Yeah, nor should it ever come back. Nor should it ever come back. Uh, can we start next round or we gotta wait? You can start now, but... Yeah. There's no way... Okay, I was about to say, I hate when DB does that. When you, like, send a message and then it just, like, doesn't send. Okay, sure. Mud Dragon effect called Dark. And they're gonna chain a Havness to summon in Mill. I mean, yeah, they have nothing to stop that. I guess through for sure. Yup. We can see their non engine as Towns plus Nib. We can assume it's just those. And then they're non engine super poly plus nib. Uh, but they milled double rhino Nessie. Okay. Still trying to think about how they actually win this game because their opponent also got to add back a bunch of stuff, which makes it just way more tough. And then they still have Zephyrus Engrave. They haven't used its effect yet this duel. That can also just be another thing. Another body that comes up at least. Oh, okay, they're gonna activate Rhino Graveyard Effect. And then chain tier cash. You know, get the get the very free special summon Rhino. Uh Elf can't ever come back. Revive SP. Elf should lock like Gigantic and it's fine. Elf feels like it should just two lock you, but it doesn't. How you feel about Nib in current format? Uh, Nib, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird, because, like, current format's so wide, but Nib is good against a lot of the decks. If you pair it with another hand trap, it's really good. Um, so I guess it depends on how your deck list looks. But I think this deck also, like, has to play Nib, so that way you can try to stop Dwelly. But Nib is a very good card. Uh, how can Konami release the worst balanced extra card, Little Knight, and the best balanced extra card, uh, Typhoon slash Sky Crisis, in the same set? Oh, uh, yeah, Sky Crisis is such a cool card. I like that card a lot. But that card will be played on and off forever. But I guess it's kind of like Zeus, right? Zeus will be played on and off forever. So, hello, Mr. Book Grinder. Do you think Tyr is a disproportionately popular on DB compared to other places? Uh, yes. I think DB is, I think Tyr is more popular on DB than it is in tournaments, or than it will be in tournaments. But I do think Tyr is a very good deck. And I think after Indy, people have stopped respecting the deck as much. Which has made the deck a little bit stronger. Um, so, maybe the deck should be played more. But the deck's also really fun. So, you know, you're also going to see people play it on DB. Because, like, if you want to have a fun match, you can just hop on with Tier. Boom, get a nice little fun match. And, uh, Kikalos can come back to one, just ban the Shufflers and Millers. Stop, 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 stop. Let Kikalos... Stay in the grave. Like, I would want that card to come back, but at the same time, I don't. I feel like sometimes, like, old decks just shouldn't come back. Like, as much as I want Harpoor to come back, maybe it just should never come back. <clears throat> like, simple as that. Like, I think Masterpiece, that card really should just never come back. Like, oh my gosh, that card should never come back. Um, like, actually. I just hope that, like, I don't know. Like, uh... Cleefort Towers, that card should have stayed banned forever, even though it didn't even deserve to be banned at some point. Like, now it doesn't even deserve to be banned now. The card's horrible now. It loses the Link Monsters, but should have never came back. Uh, fun fact, the way you make a family is not family-friendly. 
until we meet again. That was the first time typing in chat. See ya. <laughs> uh, will Richmond be streamed? Yeah, Richmond's gonna be streamed. I'm actually gonna stream Richmond. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna stream. I'm I'm for sure gonna stream the entire the entirety of day one. Um, well, okay, I should say almost the entirety of day one, most likely. And then day two, I'm probably just gonna stream the whole thing. Your camera unfocuses a lot, by the way. Yeah, I move around too much. Uh, it's just as simple as that. I move around far too much for my camera to stay focused like that. Uh, Shooping said that we can play one masterpiece. I mean, yeah, masterpiece wouldn't break the game, but I don't want it. <laughs> that card could just stay gone. Gosh. Oh, oh, say less. That's why I subbed five head. What? For what? Deng Long came back and that card is bad. Deng Long is a different case. I also wish Deng Long stayed banned too. Uh, definitely stream day two if you have to choose between them. Uh, I feel like more people want to see the top cut than the random Swiss rounds. Uh, bro, what do you mean? It's literally free content. You just do it live. That way you don't have to go over it after it's over. Well, well what I was saying is like day one... Like, round one through nine. Like, all those rounds do horrible on YouTube. Honestly, the only rounds that people even care about in tournaments, I've realized anymore, is top eight, top four finals. If it's not those three rounds, it's probably not even worth posting. Even if it's world, which is crazy, but even if it's world, people only care about top cut. Like, top eight, top four in finals, it seems like. Which is fine. It's fine. I mean, me personally... I start caring a lot more once it's round, like, 7, 8. Or, to be honest, whenever I just see it's, like, a good player. Like, I just want to see good gameplay. Like, I don't care if it's, like, some random jank deck that they throw up on stream just because it's some random jank deck. I just want to watch good gameplay. But, okay. Uh, milling cards, always good. Gub needs to come back. I don't even know what that is. Would you make a video on YCS? Uh, I don't even know what that is. Finals around 4,000 people. Or do OCG videos not do good? That's the YCS you asked if I was going to? At OCG YCS? I don't even know OCG format besides Maxi. But, uh, I mean, sure. Yeah, I can go over the finals of that. But it'd, it'd be like just the finals. It wouldn't be anything else though. Just because it's cool to look at OCG every once in a while. Besides Lab, is there any other decks that Resonator stuff works well with? Um, Dragon Link. Resonator stuff works well on Dragon Link. Or not, I mean, there's Dragon Link, there's Bestial, um, Horus that you could play it in, stuff like that. True, no one watches the NBA regular season until the playoffs start. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say everyone, but I get what you mean. Do you think there will be good Six Samurai support? I hope not. Six Samurai is such a toxic deck. Just by the way they've built it up until this point. Making it an infinite loop deck. That's like all it is. It's like just infinite loop. Either I'm going to infinite loop, build a huge board, or infinite loop, FTK. Deck's actually very scary to play against. Very scary. I played against it at a regional in 2019 with striker orchest it was round one and my opponent was just going crazy comboing 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 and then my hands were just like triple engage something else and it was just like absolute sacks like absolute i destroyed you uh bestial horus synchro good old bestial synchro uh about resonators i don't even know what you're saying right now Sacred is not scared. It's scared is scarred plus D. Scarred? So you're saying it's scarred, not scared? See, I don't get it. They're literally just the same word. Scared and scarred. Well, the loop is so stupid. The deck was cool back then as a synchro combo deck. Yeah, like way back in the day when it was like, make Sheehan have like the Sheehan Shogun guy, you know, set bottomless pass, you know, stuff like that was cool. Yup. Scarred. 
is that it has scars. Yup. Alright, but... I don't like that. That has two R's in it, though. I feel like that one should only have one R in it. Bro, it was Sheehan plus Beast Barkeon. That was not cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sheehan plus Barkeon was the buy. Sheehan plus Beast, the buy. Oh, okay, Super Samurai, the buy. I also only started playing against it in 2013, so anything before that, not real. The 2013, the start of it, the buy. So free, so free. I mean, this game's just over, right? Yeah, I guess Aaron Piggy's just praying for a miracle, but they don't tear cash, tear cash, will have this Destrudo. They haven't used Destrudo effect this turn. So that's a free body that we can get out. Um, yeah, the Baron's also back in the extra deck, so we could potentially summon that again. Uh, the deck could also easily make Trish. That's fair. I don't remember that. But it's also been a long time. 6am is still around in 2013? No. <laughs> I mean, it was still around, but it wasn't an actual deck, no. It stopped being a tier 1 deck in like 2011-12. Okay, milt scream there, but definitely don't have another trap to search. But it doesn't matter, we just want a tier cash on field. Now we can Destrudo target Rhino, force our opponent's interaction. Which is no interaction. Which is just game. Simple as that. And then, do we have Kaleido Heart in our Griever? I think we do, right? Yeah, okay. Kaleido Heart and Grieve. Summon Destrudo, go up in the Baron. Or maybe they're thinking about making a Link? Okay, no, nope. summon out Baron. I was gonna say, they were thinking there for a second. Uh, 2011 Shock Sam Master. Shock Master Sam was the best. Got Shock Master. I hate that card. That card was a troll card, and I, like, never played with it, but it was still a troll card. I only played with it for a little bit. I think it got banned in 2013, probably on the September list when everything got banned. Uh, monthly reminder that skill drain is at 3. I hate that. I hate that skill drain's at 3, anti-spell is at 3, TC Boo goes in Warlords. <clears throat> There's just so many floods. That stay around when they should not be around anymore. Should not be around at all. Oh, they play Dugaros? <laughs> okay, okay. I guess, you know, you play Zephyros, you play extra level 4 stuff, maybe you play an extra rank 4. Uh, thank god Shockmaster was not long around. Yeah, if that card, if Shockmaster was still around, like... That would be so easy to, like, cheese into. Okay, Dugaris and the Kaleido. Kaleido to spin. Summon limit with the QCR. It got a QCR? That's crazy. That probably looks really good, though. I'm not gonna lie. But, gosh, yeah. Summon limit. Gosh. What a floodgate. Floods are low-key the gateway for new players to get into the game, so they can't really get rid of them. I don't know. I don't really care about new players. Uh... So, yep, I just care about how the gameplay goes. That's it. That is all. I'm fine. Uh, it, it's, like, fine if the game keeps... Well, I don't know. Like, do, like sure. I don't know. If, if, if players have to get into the game by playing Floodgate, then their friends are already steering them in the wrong direction. Let's be honest. Like, I don't know. Do you even learn the game with Floodgates? No, not really. Yeah, it's not, it's not really learning the game. It's just new players that'll probably end up quitting because they're playing Floodgate decks. But you could put new players on, like, a Flounderies deck. And, like, sure. Like, they have Shifter. But they still have to play their deck. Like, even if you drop Shifter and Flounderies, you still have to actually summon Empid and win the game. So, I don't know. I feel like stuff like that... Like, Flounderies, I don't know, that, that that could be good for teaching new players. I know back in the day it used to always be Light Sworn. That, that was, like, all it was. 
was like, here's Light Sworn. This deck can synchro, XYZ, it mills, it teaches you how to properly use resources, teaches you to properly look at your graveyard nonstop, um, teaches you to like, which one am I going to commit? Which one am I going to hold next turn to try to beat if they have blank? You know, stuff like that. Light Sworn used to be the goo for new players. Or, 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 you'd go to Gravekeeper. <laughs> one or the other. Uh, I re-picked up the game somewhat recently in Floodgates. Don't feel like that to me. Uh, I'm not saying it's a good system, but it's the simplest way to play the game. I'll uh, win some percentage of the time. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't really care about that stuff. I know a lot of people do. Like, I mean, obviously I want new players coming into the game. But if we're doing it through the means of Floodgates, then I would rather just not have new players in the game and take Floodgates out. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Like, if you want easier game to play, Pokemon. There you go. There you go. There you go. Barrier of entry, very small. You know, the skill, the skill level is still, you know, up there. It's just more of a marathon instead of a race, like Yu-Gi-Oh. Light Sworn is the OG tier, no cap. Oh, I agree. There's so many people, or so many comments from random people who play the game and think they're better than a pro or high-rated player because they flip Degenerate, Stun Cards, Raticator, D-Barrier. Literally just go to Jesse's new video and look at the comments saying pros aren't as good as they think. Absolute delusion. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I, there's always going to be people that argue on the internet. I don't know. It just never matters. Never mattered. I just say my opinions, and then that's it. If someone doesn't like them, it is what it is, I guess. But from Konami's business perspective, they need new players. Yeah, of course, of course. I'm just saying, like, from my perspective, obviously, Konami needs new players. They have to. That's why they have stuff like Rush Duel, Speed Duel, stuff like that. Try to get people into the game. I also think that they should up the prizing for... Uh, Time Wizard Edison formats and stuff like that because they only give out one play mat for it right now like a winning mat But it's the same play mat for like a year straight They they got to make that better. They got to make that better. Edison is really growing in Yu-Gi-Oh Like it's huge at this point There's so many people that go I've met people at multiple different tournaments who only went to play Edison like multiple times Random commenters thinking they're good or not unique to Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, that's just people. Yeah, that's just the internet in general. Uh, DB Grinder, if you ever got into another card game, what would it be? One Piece. I'm getting the One Piece. I actually, I actually enjoy how their game is set up. There's a lot of good stuff about One Piece's game. But I also am not like crazy at that game or anything you know I'm, i don't actually play it so maybe, maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong but i have tried it and when i tried it it was fun it was more fun than pokemon at least so i'd probably play that game over pokemon and i definitely wouldn't play magic definitely would not play magic i just heard that game is like expensive if you want to like actually play like the real format it's expensive also don't know many people that play magic is it a 45 minute timer Yep, <laughs> it is indeed a 45 minute timer. That's actually crazy. It's actually crazy. Because now that you say it, it's literally just game. I was thinking, how does Aaron Piggy ever win this game? But it's by their opponent saying lag and let me go grab the door real quick. That was the win con. <laughs> Forgot about that win con. Time and round. <laughs> Magic is for nerds. Well, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I mean, anybody that gets in the Yu-Gi-Oh could have also gotten the Magic. Could have also gotten the whatever. You know, all, all the card games are really just the same. Whatever. So, that's wild. It's Leon's fault, to be fair. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, I mean, come on. Yeah, it's just GG. Yeah, it's, it's... Am I dumb? There's no time extension, right? Just make sure. Uh, Magic got too much 
HP Lovecraft energy. I also heard that some of their combos, like if you play like, I think it's called Commander, they actually take like an hour for a combo. Yeah. <laughs> we check life points sends the draw phase. Said man, wow. It should have played around the timer, I don't know. Could have also scooped last game, or last turn, when you saw there wasn't enough time left. Could have scooped, went to the next game. Nope. That's just, that's just a part of, like, tournaments. 40 minute game one is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I'll say it back. I'll say it back. GG. <laughs> GG. <G. G>. <laughs> Gosh, the win con was crazy there. But okay, let's see. Is anyone else still in their round? They aren't. Okay, cool. So round over. Let's go ahead. And the next round is going to go up in three minutes. So everybody go ahead and hop into the next round now. I see that they already started.